of baby back ribs here. We're gonna get these done. And it's milk. And we're gonna do these. You got Memphis style, Kansas City style, dry rub, dry ribs. It's do Martin, them on. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. What is it? Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That's why I got the day off. Calling this the Goose Creek Rib Rub, folks. Yeah. This. All right, guys. This is one cup of pure granulated cane syrup or cane sugar, not syrup. Half a cup of pink, pink, ah, pink, pink. How do you say pink? Pink Himalayan sea salt. Half a cup of ground pepper. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. And six tablespoons of paprika. Hope I said that all right. I'll put it down in the link below. And by the way, got click that subscribe button over here. Give me some more subscribers. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to get these rubbed up. I'm not putting no mustard or any binder on them today. They're wet enough. We're going to get these rubbed down good. We're going to set them in the fridge for an hour or two. Let them get good and sweated in. Get that spice in them. And then we're going to go out and throw them on the pit ball for about four or five hours. Uh-oh. All right. Let's start with the back side first. I wonder if my little helper today, Miss Ellie again, can keep out from school. Can you sprinkle that all over those? Like I showed you, a little high and not too much at once. I think she's got them looking good, folks. You always gotta have that little helper with you, don't you? All right, we're gonna put these in the fridge. Let them sit for probably about uh, 12:46. I'm probably gonna start cooking about two, so hour and 15 minutes. I'll probably fire the grill up at two, so it'll be about two hours. <laughs> so we'll see you then. A little after two o'clock right now. Oh man, these things are smelling good. Time to go fire the pit boss off up. Let these come up, warm up a little bit, maybe toward room temperature. Let's go fire it up. All right guys, it's kind of cold out here today. Let me shut the top down just a little bit. She ain't want to stay warm, keep it going, but. Oh man. Those are looking good out here in the sunshine, folks. Let's get ready to throw them on. All right, guys, I got Miss Ellie holding the phone, so hopefully she'll get this recorded right. Let's put these ribs in here. Get them started. Oh, hold on. I got two more racks over here. go all right it's right about 2 30 folks we'll give them an hour hour and a half probably come out and spritz them like i said these are just going to be a dry there's no three two one two two one we're not wrapping them anything completely dry tonight see you when we come out and get ready to spray them all right guys we are an hour and 15 minutes in see how these things are looking looking pretty good we got some apple juice and a little orange juice. About two to one apple juice to orange juice. I'll spray these down good. A little extra moisture on them. Looking good. We come back out about another hour and check on them again. Alright guys, we are 2 hours and 15 minutes in now. There you go. They're getting cooked good. We're going to flop some sides on these. Move them around just a little bit. Those ones over there. That one there. 
Sorry about the filming. I'm doing this one-handed. Put that one there. That one there. We got the spritz. They get a little dry. Hold on. Coming up just a little bit. There we go. These sprayed down good. Put moisture back on them. Give them another hour. See how they doing. All right, guys, we're three hours in. It's cold as hell today. About why the hell am I looking at my watch for what <laughs> temperature it is? She's still running about 240, 250. It's about 40, 38 degrees. See what these things look like. Uh, let's give my bend test. Uh, That's a thick one too. You got some, some wobbles. Not getting any pullback yet. Well, we still got a little bit to go. Yeah, I'm just gonna rack them up like this now. to spray them. Oh, let me pump it up. You say, Mama, pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume. I was thinking that when you started. <laughs> I was first thinking it. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in another hour for these. Goose Creek Dry Ribs. See how it is? Don't know? Look at there. That steam's coming off. They cooking good. See in a little bit. All right, guys. We are four hours and 15 minutes in. Oh, you're uh, in the shadow. There you go. Shadow. Let's see what kind of temps we got on these weeds. You got to tell us. I can't see it. Oh, on 74 there. About 180. Oh, these ones over here are doing good. They're about up to 182. Let's swap these around again here in a minute. Here, let's mom go over to this okay, side. Okay, we'll Turn it up some. I'm gonna go and crank it up to 350, folks, for the last, probably about the last 30 minutes an hour until we get them ready. Check back with you in a few. Right. 30 minutes later, we'll crank her up to 350. Hear that sizzle? That sizzle. Sorry about the shadow. Hold on. There we go. Well over 200. Another well over 200. They done. They cooking, baby. All right, let's pull these things off. You know what I mean, I don't want to fall apart. You ain't supposed to be fall apart. They well up to 200. Well done, cooked. Take them in, wrap them up a little bit. Get the rest of dinner ready. We'll get ready to slice these up, folks. All right, guys. Are. Let's see how these things came out. Oh, bones are kind of crooked in these ones. I see a smoke ring. Do you see it? I know, these bones are crooked. Oh, there we go. All right. Toby said he wanted to try. Try one big bite out of it. A clean bite. And let's see if we get a clean bite out of it. You hear the peel? <sighs> All right, hold on. He's got thumbs up, a mouthful. All right, we're gonna let mama try one. Mm. 
Mine's gonna be last. You're gonna be last. Right in the middle, Mama. You gotta get a clean bite right out of the middle. Ha ha ha. Ha. Hot. Oh, it's still hot. Yeah, yeah they're <clears throat> they're hot, but they are delicious. I can't buy any more. All right, guys. We'll be back. Let me finish cutting some more up. We'll try some when they cool down. <laughs> they cooled down. Let's see. Hold on, Mama. Show us the side of it. Oh, look at there, guys. The Goose Creek Dry Rib Rub. St. Louis, Memphis, Kansas City ain't got nothing on Goose Creek. Let's see what Mama thinks about it. Yeah. Look at there. Clean bite all the way through, folks. All right. Let's let it cool down a little bit more, and we're going to have Miss Ellie give it a try. Yeah. Final taste test. You know my taste tester, Miss Ellie. She put the rub on them. Let's see what she thinks. Uh, I ain't two eggs. That was a too big a bite. <laughs> too big a bite and it's still hot, guys. Well, she's got some missing teeth. <laughs> All right. Believe that it is. They're looking pretty good. Hold on. What? Here, Mama. Yeah, Let me yeah, try yeah. one. Okay. What? She's using your fingers, Daddy. Hold on. She's still saying it's a 10 of 10. Okay, no, belly bite. Let me try one here. Mr. Ben's all upset. <laughs> oh, you can hear that clean bite. Look at there. That's a big fatty too. All right, guys. Like I said, Memphis style, Kansas City style, uh, St. Louis style. Sunny style. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> on the Goose Creek style. These were great. Remember, like, subscribe, click down here in the corner, ring the bell, love you, and we'll see you next time.